Um... Hello, everyone, and welcome to Cement Mixer 2003. Now, on its surface, this seemed to be another one of those German job simulator games that were popular a few years back. And the one defining feature that made me check it out was not even anything about the game itself, just the fact that you guys suggested it. And as we can already see, this doesn't look like any job simulator I've ever played. <laughs> I'm kind of caught off guard here because I expected there to at least be a menu or something. Now, I kind of figured it would try to throw me for a loop since so many of you suggested it, but I didn't expect to be thrown straight into that world's RPG or something very similar to it. Uh, there's different... Oh, <laughs> this must be my room. All right, uh, a candle burning a rope. Uh, let's investigate the insignias before we move on. A serpent holding a key. And what looks like a bird and a lizard man holding up a cracked bowl. Uh, over here is... This one open for me. Uh, that appears to be... Mew with a traumatic brain injury? What is all this? Uh, bags of grain, maybe? And some plants sitting in- sorry, I'm- Stuff's coming at me much, much faster than I can commentate on it. Didn't expect to be teleported quite so abruptly. Uh, we seem to be in the middle of a field of whatever plant this is that was being stored in those bags. And it looks like this is the- the early form growing in this bowl. There's a sound of wind blowing, but also... But also like a weird rumble? Ah, oh, it's almost hypnotic in a way, especially now coupled with this music. I don't know what direction I'm supposed to be walking in. I guess I'll just head towards the barn. I can't make my way over these mounds of dirt that these plants are growing out of. I have yet to do any cement mixing. Okay, maybe I have to find my way through the maze to the barn. Uh, are, are, are you strange fellows going to teach me how to pour cement? I can probably get over using this style. Oh, they're like the... I don't know why, but these things are actually reminding me of the hedge monsters from the TV miniseries of The Shining. Uh... Wait. Underneath that ominously shadowed one in the corner, there's something purple? Uh, you're very terrifying, but excuse me, I have to get that thing you're sitting on. Warming up your eggs, are you? Let me just, uh, reach under there and get that, if you don't mind. Uh, I can't seem to pick it up. But the ambiance has changed its tone slightly. Almost as if a response to me touching what I believe to be... Uh, one of these species' newborns. I say species, they're not moving. When I first saw them, I thought of them more as... as hedge art, but... Uh, apparently there's nothing for me to do here, so back into the maze, I guess? You know, whenever I start a video, I, I come in with some kind of preconceived expectation, even if I know it's going to be something weird. I try to come in with some default mindset that I can commentate off of, but... Whatever I was thinking this was going to be, it wasn't this, I can tell you that much. Uh, uh, those look like some kind of silos. Maybe we can climb those and get a better look at what's going on in this field. Uh, but I'm not going to be getting in this way. There's an invisible wall.
Oh, there goes the sound looping. When the music cuts out like that, I almost expect something to change, like my fight or flight kicked in, and I practically expected something to have entered the area and started chasing me through the maze. I've talked about this a little bit in other videos, but my theory as to why a sudden cessation of any sound is so scary, I don't know, my little pet theory is that it's like when early humans would have been walking through the forests and the jungles and all sound suddenly cut out like the birds stopped chirping. It could mean that some predator has entered the area. And the reason they've stopped chirping is because they've heard something that you didn't. Now, is there any way for us to climb this? The ladder on the other side is broken, but it looks like these stairs are very much intact. Okay, so there's that barn over there. And there's something else in that corner. Let's get a little higher and see. A chessboard. And all the pieces are those little guys from the farm. Also, I've noted that a lot of furniture seems to have a grass texture, such as the surface of this table and the chairs over by the, by the little picnic area. And somebody up here is making modern art with the chairs. We can sprint and we can jump, so... Perhaps I can make this. And jump! Oh! Okay, guess there's no fall damage. That's one way to find that out. God, this is so interesting. This is almost like a slightly more straightforward version of LSD Dream Emulator. That's almost the vibe that I'm getting from this. Whoa, there's no turning back now. What, what are you? What are you? What are you? What do I do? That honest to God caused heart palpitations. The way I was falling and was suddenly face to face with whatever that thing was and it just started doing that strange bleeding noise. Well, I'm shipwrecked. My punishment, I suppose, for intruding on that guy's territory. Not a very big island, but it looks like there's something on top of that mountain. Or a volcano, perhaps. Well, at least I'll have some statuettes to keep me company. Maybe if I can climb this thing, I'll figure out what to do next. I'm actually kind of starting to dig that soundtrack. It could keep me from getting bored out of my mind while I'm stuck here for the next eternity or two. Oh, that's how come it's called Cement Mixer Simulator 2003. Well, I guess... I guess we'll have to do some on-the-job training. Oh, maybe I can use the cement to pour myself a bridge back to civilization. Nope, I guess not. Doesn't seem to be any way for me to interact with it. I, for some reason, because of the similarity to LSD, I, I sort of had it in my head that maybe that if I run into it or interact with it, that it'll trigger a teleport to the next area. But it seems like maybe there's specific things that I need to do to trigger a new instance. Hello, what are you? Hang on, let me climb up there. Uh, worst case, I'll drop down from the staircase. Are you something that I'm able to pick up? Alright. Uh, let's try this very carefully now. And drop. A fire extinguisher. But I can't seem to pick it up. Hmm. You know, this place, I don't know, I, I think it's the openness of the space, but it feels much less foreboding than the farm did. 
I mean, with that, I was plopped down into the middle of a field, really a maze, with no idea what was going on around me and no idea if there was anything there with me. I feel like here, you know, even though my situation is ostensibly much more dire, having a clear view kind of makes all the difference, however irrational it may be. Of course, these statues do make me feel watched and maybe just a little bit unwelcome, like I'm intruding and can't leave. Can I interact with you at all? No? Alright, then what am I meant to do? Perhaps I can jump on top of the cement mixer and climb in? Maybe I can mix myself. Maybe if I jump to this tree, yeah, it doesn't really seem like I can stand on top of them. What if I just, uh... What if I take my mom's advice and take a long walk off of this short pier? Oh, I actually kind of can. Oh, the water is actually shallow. Uh, maybe I can actually explore around the island a little bit and find something this way. Interesting new dimension to explore. You know, after a while, these soundtracks, I mean, I, I like it. It's quite, uh, it's quite hypnotic in a way. And, you know, I suppose that's why it also has me just a little bit uneasy. Like, I find myself sort of relaxing and almost being drawn in by it to the point where I'm beginning to be a little bit on autopilot. Like I'm just taking things as they come and not really actively thinking about it like I usually do with these Let's Plays. Also, maybe I'm just seeing it everywhere now, but... You know, image in the clouds sort of thing. I kind of am reminded a little bit of those weird green creatures on the farm when I look at the shadow. I don't know if I'm maybe undoing my own progress here. If any of what I've done so far can even be called progress, but... I'm going to try exiting out of the game and going through a different door this time. Maybe this isn't something where I'm meant to progress. Maybe this is something where all I have to do is see all the sights. So let's see what's in the room of the cracked bowl. Oh, it won't open. It won't open. None of you will. Uh, what about upstairs then? Uh, some kind of lamprey laying an egg from its mouth? Whatever that is. Oh, wait. Multiple floors? Wow, there's so much more to this. There's so... That's, that's the railing. That's the railing post. I turned around and I could have sworn I thought it was a shadow figure standing there. Look at that. I mean, even up close, it still looks like that. Alright, but I must have done something wrong. Back to the farm with us. Can we interact with these objects on the shelf? There's another one of those animals in a hand. Alright, let's go. This time, instead of heading for the barn or the silos, I think I'm going to look for that other structure that I saw from up top. Ah, oh, there's one, another one of those little purple things. Okay, it's a good thing I didn't miss this, because this is even more terrifying. And they're looking down at a model of the farm. I don't know what it is about... It's not just the smile, but... Just faces that are the wrong size for the head that they're attached to. Like they're smiling this malicious smile. This one looks like it's waiting for something to come out. Oh my. This must be the farmhouse, but it's overgrown by those plants but from the ceiling down and it's not like they're growing like vines it looks like the ceiling is actually covered in soil somehow and the 
house itself is full of coffins. Guys, I'm trying to commentate beyond just describing what I see on the screen, but this game's not making it easy. These platforms are like hands. They... They actually remind me of the little statuette that was on the shelf in the other room. Alright, let's get through here and see what lies beyond. Hopefully not another trip to the... Hopefully not another trip to the island. Oh, but as the fingertips become darker and darker, more enshrouded in shadow, it's becoming more and more difficult for me to tell where I have to make the jump from. And I'm in danger of just running off into the abyss. You know, the more I think about it, the more I feel like this isn't a game for me. This is a game for people who are just scrolling through itch.io and see, oh, a cement mixer simulator 2003? What's that about? This keyboard has weird symbols on it. But I can't interact? Is this yet another game over screen? Oh wait, there's another one of those purple guys. Can I pick it up maybe? Hello, purple guy. Can I do something with you? This game is confusing me so much as to what I'm actually meant to be doing. I I'm, I'm clearly supposed to progress in some way or else why would those other doors be locked? Maybe if I do just jump into the abyss. I mean, I clearly can't interact with you. Here we go. And we're back. Can I open any of these doors now? Is that considered a conclusion? Or do I need to go back? Yeah, I don't think I've advanced at all. I got scared by the railing again. Oh, I didn't see you guys before. What's in the other room of this farmhouse? More of these... I guess you could say low-hanging fruit. Yeah, okay, so I don't want to try that again. Maybe if I go back to the silo now? Maybe if I try interacting with a little chest set on top of the silo? No, it doesn't seem so. I can jump on top of the board, but that doesn't help me any. Maybe there was something I could do to get out of the island, but eh, that doesn't feel right. Or maybe... Maybe there's actually some way to navigate through this maze. Uh, I kind of doubt that, but look, I can see there's a wider path right there in the corner. Don't have to worry about fall damage, so let's go for it. Okay. I think I'm making my way towards that corner, but it remains to be seen if that'll do anything for me. The only reason I'm deciding to explore these... Aha! I was going to say, the reason I'm exploring these side areas is because... You know, it's clearly a maze, but the way to all the major structures seems so straightforward. Oh! Okay, did not expect that. Did not even do me the courtesy of crumbling away. Ah. Uh, mother this thing feeds her young and feeds on one of her young. Uh, the father couldn't be more proud from the looks of it. I'm just going to step around, you guys. Hi. Do you, uh, you live down here? Can I climb over this railing? Nice place, nice water feature. Did it cost a lot? Because I kind of want one. Oh, you have a friend. Uh, 
Yeah, it's good. The more the merrier. Uh, can I join you? Joining you would feel an awful lot like progress. No? Okay. Well, where do I go then? Am I just trapped? I really have to wonder if it isn't maybe saving something in the background when I do these things, because... I mean, the way this game works, there's not even a pause menu. When I press escape, it immediately boots me out to desktop. So... It's so baffling that there's so many areas that seemingly have no way out. And it makes me wonder if there's maybe not some kind of... Some kind of background progress saving, some kind of acknowledgement within the game's files that I've been there... ...for some other purpose. I just realized that's another coffin up in the rafters over this guy. Oh, is this some kind of exit? I've made it outside the field. But what's around these hills? Oh, it's almost like I've... It's almost like I've glitched out of the map, but I have a feeling... I have a feeling I haven't quite glitched. Everything... Everything's gonna be intentional with this. I would not have gotten out if the creator hadn't wanted me to. Speaking of the creator, this is the kind of thing where it, it kind of makes me uneasy to think about a creator because it's one of those things that doesn't even feel like it could have been made by humans. Like, what mind thought of this and put it together? Hello. Ah, you have yourself a, a friend. That's cool. Everybody needs a friend. Can I interact with it? No. Actually, it appears to be some kind of one-eyed cow skull. So maybe your relationship is a little bit Dahmer-esque. I wonder if I can fall off the edge of the world. But I'm going to try to climb up to that tree before I do that. Come on. Come on. Oh, I can actually run up the side here. Yes, tree, please be something. Hello, little dude. Oh, you're, you're mighty far from home. But how does this help me? I'm so confused. Then again, maybe I'm thinking about this the wrong way. It's obviously not forthcoming with any kind of direction. Maybe this isn't supposed to be... something where I can progress in the traditional sense. Because remember what I said before, that this almost seems, in its presentation, like it's really for people to stumble upon on itch.io, and then be exceptionally confused when they open it. Because how do creepypastas always present their games? They present them as... I went to the store and I see and I saw a game that looked very innocuous. Like, uh, I believe there was one called like Sheep Jump or something like that. And then you boot it up, and what follows is a mind-bending, baffling experience, which is certainly a way you could describe this. There's like a fascination to it, like. There, I'm always finding just enough on each restart that I'm compelled to come back and try to look for more, and so I feel weirdly drawn to it and compelled to try and chip away at it and find its secrets. For example, what is this? That looks like an emblem of some kind of horned creature. You know what? Come to think of it, that actually looks like one of the plates from the walls. Or from the doors, rather. Can I do anything with it? Uh, one of the biggest issues for me right now is it being unclear if there's any way for me to interact. But whatever it is, I found it. Has that done something behind the scenes? We've restarted now, and instead of going back to the farm, I'm now on the hunt 
for a matching emblem to the one we found in the field. There's got to be something, or else why else would it be there? No. No. They're getting increasingly grotesque. Okay, this one opens. But I don't think I've been up to it before. I don't know if this would have opened if I had come here from the get-go. Oh, that's a long way down in that toilet. Uh, what if I get in the bath? Oh! This isn't cement mixing at all. Oh, let me out, let me out, let me out. This is so uncomfortable. Oh, this almost reminds me of the back hallways of Liminal Hotel. Hi. You look like the guys that were down the well on the farm. I think the only thing more unnerving than being thrust into this environment with these demented beings is the fact that you kind of get a glimpse of this being what their life is like. Dreading this being your new existence. Hi. Uh, that looks like one of the statues from the island. Hello? Uh, the way the glow in their eyes has been done, it almost makes it look like they're always looking at you, even though I don't think anything's actually changing about their model. I think one of the most disturbing things about this game so far is how... Every model we've come across, presumably living things, has been completely still. And so it's almost like walking through a room full of mannequins... ...that's all stopped as if you've interrupted their daily lives. There's something in here, but I can't quite make out what it is. If you guys can't tell, this is an exceptionally difficult game to commentate on. And, you know, there's a lot of common threads between areas. I mean, there was one of these guys down in the well. I think that might have been one of the weird four-legged creatures in that dresser. And over here, there's a sack of that strange plant that's growing on the farm. Now I've got a choice to make. Are we going up or are we going down? What's up, guys? Enjoying some good grub? It seems like those plants are the main food source in this area. I say that as if attempting to apply logic. Ah, this apartment is jail. These must be the worst of whatever these creatures are by... <gasps> by whatever metric they use to judge themselves. I've seen you guys before as well. You guys were down below, in the well also, but down in the water instead of up in the chair with the other guy. You look like something important. Perhaps one of the creatures that I've seen on the emblems? But do you do anything for me? I've since... Between now and the last restart, I've had a look at the readme file, and there is no interact control. So anything that I can't achieve by just making contact is something that I can't do. There's no use in sitting there mashing E, and I've looped all the way around. I can continue to go up or down... It's just a question of, which do I think will help me more? Let's try down. Ah, the cement mixer. The only thing tying this to its title. But I can't do anything with it. 
I wonder if maybe doors aren't unlocked when I find the cement mixers. It's you guys again. Once again, staring down at a model. Okay, so from what I've seen so far, I'm going to attempt to piece together some kind of framework for understanding what's going on here. I might be just a tad stupid for trying to do that. But every time we've seen these guys, they've been staring down at a miniaturized model of the realm we're in. Now, the weird beaky face guys, they've always been just sitting around, and the Coneheads have always been almost standing guard, it seemed like. I get the impression of these guys as sort of trickster gods, beyond everything else. As for those four-legged beasts, I don't know, they, ha they have always seemed like just animals. Uh, here they appear to be performing some kind of weird guy exorcism. There's another one of you crouched behind the bed. A lot of details to be found for those who care to look. Ah, a fire extinguisher! I, I, see, that's the thing is, there's just enough common framework between areas that I feel like there's some kind of logic to it. Not enough evidence to piece anything together, but enough to feel like there's something I'm supposed to learn from the things I observe. This fire extinguisher is glowing. But once more, I can't interact. Alright, away we go. And here's another one of those tents, like we saw in that dark abyss. But there's- Ah, yes, another emblem, but it's the same as the one that we saw in the field. It's the same. And it doesn't actually seem to correspond to any of what's in the hall. More toilets. Ah. Uh, there seems to be almost something of a liminal inspiration in this area. Uh, maybe one of you has another... I was gonna say maybe one of you has another deep hole that I can climb into, but... We have bigger problems. There appears to be a bit of a flooding issue here. You don't look so good. Mind if I join you? This doesn't seem to be doing anything for me. Wait. That doesn't seem right. But we can continue downward quite a ways. I feel like the hallway we just left should have looped back in on this, though. Oh, it just goes down and down and down. Uh, perhaps I can reach some kind of a bottom? You're a new image. I, I keep trying to remember images from the emblems, feeling like I must have to find something related in order to unlock the doors. I feel like the real thing that would give me a lot of answers is knowing if I found something that allowed me to open up this bathroom area that got me here. Because so far I have no idea if anything I've done has actually progressed me in any meaningful way. Uh dibs on the apartment. Ah, there's another cement mixer. So, so far we found two cement mixers in these apartments. That's still a ways down to go, but if we can get all the way down, it seems like the lower floor is flooded. Well, let's continue our search. Oh... Oh, I don't like this. I especially don't like how 
the light bulbs actually curve. As if there's no gravity being applied. Oh, I do not like looking at that. I can feel my stomach drop. But here we are, yeah. Now, this is a type of thing that I've actually seen in several liminal space maps for Gary's Mod, so I'm definitely seeing the liminal inspiration in this area. Now, oh, what's up, bud? You fell down here too, huh? Uh, what's the rent like in Bizarro World? Because up there, super expensive. We can fall even farther. Oh, please don't tell me this thing just inverts itself. Oh, it is! It... It's actually just going back up in the opposite direction. Only now I have no way of... Only now I have no way of returning. And I've yet to get an up-close look at whatever those things are with the triangle heads. Always on the opposite side of wherever I am, never allowing me to get close. But maybe I can. Oh, what are you? The fact that none of these things move is honestly bothering me even more than if they had been moving. It's just so weird. It's actually kind of strange, the amount of logic that I'm trying to piece together from all of this. Like, to me, because of their robes and the fact that they seem to be trying to keep their distance from me, a personality trait that I'm getting entirely from the geometry of the map, might I add. It, it, it's kind of weird, the circles that my brain is starting to spin in. The weird directions it's starting to take to try and make sense of all of this. Oh, found cement mixer storage. Does this mean that I win at cement mixer? I really hope it does, because, uh, I mean, I don't really have any metric by which to judge my successes. And, you know, there's just, like, this these little bits of intention here. Uh, like, it's never actually validating me with anything that is explicitly progress. But look, these things are clearly laid out as a maze. Like, there's only a certain way that I can get through them. They're functioning as a maze, but there's no reward for getting through. It's almost like my brain is desperately struggling to find some kind of reason here. Well, in the absence of anything else to do, let us yeeteth ourselves into thine abyss. I said, let us yeeteth ourselves into the abyss. Now, there's an invisible wall. It's not even going to let me. Oh. I had not even noticed you. Somehow it didn't occur to me to look up when looking up is looking down. It's almost like a turtle or a frog sitting on a log on a hole in the bottom of the sea. Uh, uh, moving my view back and forth in this is so disorienting. Ah, oh, that's terrible. Do you guys have anything for me, please, before I escape out? No. Okra doker, smokers. Have we tried going up before? I don't think so. None of this looks familiar to me. Hey guys, what are we watching? Is it me? Uh, that angle's even worse. A 
maze of statues. Uh, need a little help with the moving? Yeah, I, I really just... I have no idea what to do to open those other doors. But I'll be honest, I'm fascinated. If nothing else, I am fascinated. Well, with nothing else to try, I guess I'm gonna end this part here? Let me know if you guys want me to do more of this, or even if there is any more, because I kind of feel like I might be getting trolled, but but this world just offers no feedback in what it wants, or what I'm supposed to be doing, and that just makes me want to know more. Like, for as much as it frustrates me, it just compels me even more to try and figure out what's going on here, or what I'm supposed to do. This whole game is just such a tease. I mean, I feel like what's frustrating me the most is just how many things look like they're something. But only certain things result in you teleporting, and only the teleports will allow you to move forward. Well, I say forward, can any of this even be called forward? It's not like there's any kind of real progress to it, it's just kind of a state change from one area to the next. I mean, I, I changed the image on my screen sometimes, but that's about all that can be said. I guess opening doors could be considered progress, but did I even succeed in opening any doors? Maybe the bathroom one, but then again, how do I know that wasn't open to begin with? I have no idea, and I would really, really appreciate it if somebody could at least fill me in on what I should be trying next. If I'm to continue this series, if you guys want more. If you want it to even be a series. But, until then, until I get my answer there, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to do that is at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, I'll also be linking that in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.